guys, it's Hyper here, and welcome back to yet another episode of OP Prison on Prime MC. Now, guys, as always, if you are still enjoying this series, be sure to absolutely destroy that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well, and click that bell to turn on notifications for the channel. But without further ado, let's just get on straight into today's episode then. So, guys... As you can see, I did actually, in between episodes, I went ahead and actually built this blaze grinder right here, which I forgot who donated me these spawners, but there were actually a few people who decided to donate me some blaze spawners, so shout out to whoever you are. I'm sorry I forgot you guys as IGNs and all that, but if you know who you are, just comment down below. I'll go ahead, pin your comment or something like that. And uh, yeah, so now we basically have our very own blaze grinder, which we can go ahead and grind at. And this is actually extremely loud. Let me quickly go ahead and turn the volume down by a little bit. That's a lot better. And at the moment, I'm actually using a super sword, which has looting three on it. And I have to say, we get a whole bunch of blaze rods from this. So I'm happy with how it's turned out so far. Now, I don't exactly know what to do with the blaze rods, if I'm going to be honest here. Like, I've thought about making a brewing machine or something like that because you do obviously need blaze rods to make a brewing station or brewing stand, whatever it's called. So, yeah, if you guys have any ideas as to what I should do with the blaze rods, leave them down below. And, guys, for today's daily giveaway, we actually are going to be giving away a legendary key, as you can see right here. And, okay, you can't even really even see the name because of all these, um enchantments or whatever not enchantments all these effects but anyways we're gonna be giving away a legendary key and if you guys are able to hit 20 likes on today's episode of prison i'll go ahead and actually double this giveaway so basically two people will win legendary keys instead of one so if you want to double your chances of winning just be sure to go ahead and drop a like i do one of these giveaways every single prison and skyblock episode so don't be worried if you don't actually win but yeah, moving on to the rest of the episode. As you saw in the intro, I did actually go ahead and build myself the pickaxe wall that I was meaning to build. Basically, it has all our pickaxes from Prestige 1 all the way up to Prestige 15 here. So I think that's pretty cool. If I ever decide to go to Prestige 16 or higher, I might add those there. But as I said last episode, I probably will not be going anywhere past Prestige 15 because there honestly isn't much of a point. But anyways... Today, probably what you guys all clicked on this episode for, I want to get straight to it. So, the other day I was actually looking on the auction house, and I actually found something that I was just like, whoa, what the heck is this? So, if I go into my player vault 1, as you can see, we currently have uh, whatever the heck these are. So, they're renamed to, uh, let me just move them over here so you guys can see them. They're renamed to BBB shirts and Mellow Ball 1s. I, I don't even know what these are like if you just look at their descriptions and their enchants I just I have no clue what the heck these are supposed to be like I'm pretty sure these are admin items either admin items or maybe items that the owner gave away at the beginning of the reset because I do know some servers actually do that where they give away like extremely rare items and I was really lucky that I could actually get two of these on the auction house I actually found this shirt for I think it was 250 trillion so I went ahead and bought it and then the boots were actually donated to me, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I bought these also, but I'm pretty sure the boots were actually donated to me by someone. So that's pretty freaking sweet. But yeah, so we now basically have two admin items. And if you guys don't know, these things are like incredibly rare. Like there's only about, I want to say like at least three or four of these maybe maximum on the entire server. So I'm really happy that we managed to get a pair of boots as well as a chest plate. So... For now, I guess I'll go ahead and actually put the boots on display right down here, which that's actually kind of why I built this extra area right down here, just specifically so I could actually add these on. And dude, these just look so sick right now. Like, I, I don't know how. And if you guys didn't know, you can't rename stuff. So, like, there's no such thing as slash rename or anything on prison at least. So, it's not like somebody could have just slash renamed them. Like, these are genuine, like, admin items and all that. Now, unfortunately, you can't wear these. Like... I actually tried wearing the pair of boots the other day, and it didn't let me. Like, it would just, it just went straight back into my inventory, which was really weird. So, yeah, I'm not gonna try to wear these right now. I'm probably not gonna sell them, though. If you're wondering, guys, I'm definitely not going to sell these for, like, any amount of money. Because, as I said, these are, like, basically the most rare thing you can possibly get on the server. But, yeah, we now have our, uh, Mellow Ball 1s on display right down here. If you want to check them out, just... Come to my plot slash ph swagalicious mc and then you can go ahead look over these and uh look how cool they look i i, I don't know guys but anyways 
For those of you that watched my last prison episode that I did go ahead and upload about a few days ago, I think it was more like a week ago, but you know what I mean. I actually ranked up the Prestige 15, which gives me free world basically, like I said before, and I said I wanted to kind of explore the free world, see if we could find some stuff in the free world and all that, and that's basically kind of what I'm going to be doing this episode. So what I want to find, what I've really been wanting to find is an Enderman, just because I want to try to get an Ender Pearl because I've never actually seen Ender Pearls like on the auction house anywhere. Like there aren't any on the auction house right now, as you can see. And I've never seen people really selling them at all. So I I, I just kind of want to be the first one to actually have Ender Pearls. Maybe maybe if we could find like a whole pack of Endermen, we can get like 16 Ender Pearls and maybe give away a few of those in our next prison episode. I don't really know, but I do want to actually get Ender Pearls and. If you could use those in PvP, imagine how useful those, those could be. Like, if someone's running away from you in PvP, or you're running from someone in PvP or something like that, you could just Ender Pearl and boom, you're, they're basically done. Like, you have Ender Pearls, they don't, they can't exactly catch up to you unless they're extremely good with bow boosting. So, I actually kind of want to try getting some Ender Pearls today. Now, I'm probably going to end up cutting out a whole bunch of lists just because... It's probably gonna take a while. I mean, honestly, this sh probably is gonna take at least 15 to 20 minutes. Maybe I won't even find an Enderman at all, but that is the ultimate goal for today's episode because I do, as I said before, really want Ender Pearls. So actually, real quickly, I almost forgot to give a shout out to these two people. So, first off, I wanted to give a shout out to Jillian Potatoes, who actually gave me 300 trillion in between episodes, and another shout out to Z5N. At least I think that was his name, who actually decided to go ahead and pay me one quad in between episodes. So that's basically how I have over a quad again, almost 1.5 quad if you're wondering. So yeah, shout out to those two people. I pr probably should have done that in the beginning of the episode, but it's fine. If you guys are watching this, uh, the thank you for that. If not, uh, oh well, rest in peace. I just found a creeper. Is that close enough, guys? I guess I'll go ahead and kill this just to bring some... Uh, Whatever it's called, gunpowder back. I also found a squid earlier, so... Yeah, I guess that's cool. I don't... Yeah, bats don't drop anything, so I'm not gonna bother with those. But, at the moment, I'm really hoping I can find an Enderman somewhere down here. I haven't even really seen mobs spawning at all. Like, it actually just turned night about five minutes ago outside, and... I, I waited about five minutes and nothing spawned, so... I had to go underneath the cave, so right now I'm actually trying to find an Enderman underground, which... Oh, wait, no way, is that... Oh, nope, never mind. I thought that was one for a second, but it's just the hole. I, I seriously thought that was actually an Enderman, though. I got really excited, but guess not. So it looks like we're actually in a ravine right now. I'm gonna try finding an Enderman in, like, one of these caves here. I found another creeper right over here. I found yet another creeper. Like, literally, what's with all the creepers? Okay, are you serious right now? I found even more creepers. I mean, I'm happy with the gunpowder. I actually didn't even think of that because gunpowder you can't actually buy anywhere in the shop or anything like that, and you can't actually find creeper spawners just sitting in the wild. So I guess I'm happy that I'm finding this, but... Come on, just give me an Enderman already. Alright guys, so after all that, like, 30 minutes of searching, I literally found zero Enderman. I found a crap ton of creepers, skeletons, and all that, but literally just no Enderman. I'm gonna try to search some other time for them, but for now, uh, that's really all we can do. So I'm gonna go back to my plot real quickly. Now, I wanna quickly see if we can craft TNT, because... That'd be kind of cool if we would. I'm not going to, like, use it to grief or anything, if you guys are wondering. I just want to see if we can. So let's buy some sand slash craft. I think it's something like, uh, no, wait, no. The sand's right here, right? I forget if the sand's in the diamond or if it's the gunpowder. Uh, no way. You could actually craft TNT? Wait, what? Hold up. Are, are you seriously? Dude, people could just use that to grief. Wait, what? Yo, that's actually kind of insane. Okay, so I'm actually happy that we got the TNT at least. Now, I guess I'll throw this in my player vault for now. I don't know if I want to put this on display or something because if I put it on display, then somebody with a with a bow that has flame on it could just shoot it and then uh, basically rest in peace plot. I could put glass around it or something low, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm happy with the TNT for now. I mean, that's something that I've honestly never seen on this server before, like on the auction house or at someone's plot at least. So yeah, the ink sacks, uh, honestly, I don't really need these, but all right. So overall, I guess pretty okay. I mean, we didn't find any Enderman like I was hoping to, but 
We did get some TNT, which is basically just as rare as Ender Pearls. But anyways, that's gonna have to do it for today's episode of OP Prison on Prime MC. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to absolutely demolish that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Click that bell to turn on notifications for the channel. And anyways, I will talk to you guys in the next one.